Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Florida. And today our question comes to us from Nicole Roberts. And Nicole has this question. What does it mean when a woman sees a crescent moon on her forehead? And in answering this, I will say that I would like to know the context in which this image has been seen. Are we talking about a dream? Are we talking about a vision? Are we talking about a birthmark that looks like a crescent moon? It wouldn't necessarily change the answer, but it could in certain circumstances. Generally speaking, though, I think the answer would be the same across the board. And the use of a crescent moon on the forehead goes back thousands of years. Originally, it indicated lunar goddesses. And the crescent moon would be placed usually above the hairline to indicate that this was a lunar goddess. Uh, in the Greco-Roman world. Not all lunar goddesses were necessarily shown that way, but many were. Now, in the 20th century, it became a custom to emulate this symbolism in the coronets worn by certain kinds of priestesses. And you would see the crescent moon, and sometimes also the full moon or the triple moon, on a metal band, usually a metal band, worn as a coronet commonly by high priestesses, uh, sometimes by any priestess, depending on the tradition we're talking about, uh, or if the person doesn't belong to a tradition, customs vary in this regard. In the Corellian tradition, it would indicate a high priestess. And it can also be seen as a tattoo. And this is a custom that originates from the 1980s. It was inspired by the Mists of Avalon book series, where the priestesses in the stories have the crescent moon tattooed on their forehead. And many pagan priestesses started to do this themselves. Certainly not all, but many. And so you will see priestesses who have the crescent moon tattooed on their forehead in indication that they are priestesses, or in some cases, high priestesses. Again, different traditions have different rules. But this comes out of that book series, and sometimes the crescent moon is on its back with the horns up. Sometimes it's uh, a waxing moon. Uh, occasionally it might even be a waning moon you will find a wide variety in the moon tattoos as well as the moon coronets. But that's generally what the symbolism means. So what does it mean if a woman has seen this in a vision or a dream, or if she has something similar as a birthmark? In my mind, it would indicate a calling to the high priesthood. And that is how I would interpret it in most circumstances. Now, if it happened to be a dream or a vision, there could be other things that would change that interpretation, but my assumption would be that that is what it means. And uh, this would basically be saying that you should look into studying for high priesthood and have perhaps that destiny. Of course, the mere fact that spirit is calling you doesn't mean you have to answer, but usually it's a good idea. So that would be my answer to the question. I hope you find it helpful. And until next time, may you blessed be. Guardians. The guardians are the personified powers of the four aids and all they represent. The guardians are represented in many different ways and have been throughout history. In Egypt, the guardians were particularly represented by the four sons of Horus and also by the four goddesses who guarded the tomb. To the Greco-Romans, the guardians were most often represented as the four winds, while to ceremonials they are commonly portrayed as the four archangels of Judeo-Christian tradition. In many traditions, the guardians are represented as animals, which symbolism is evident in many tarot decks. In Wicca, the guardians may be represented in many different ways, both as personifications of the powers of the eights and as abstract forms. Our particularly popular form is as a column of white light drawn up from the earth.